Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 3DS review. Today I'm finally going to be taking a look at Star Fox 64 3DS, uh, 3D edition, whatever, or Lilac Wars as it used to be known in Europe. And personally I prefer Lilac Wars, same as I prefer Starwing. I don't know why, considering Fox is the main character, I just don't like the name Star Fox. Anyway, uh, finally done with this one, because obviously I couldn't because my throat and etc. Yada yada. So... Things that are new with the game and things that are old with the game. Because obviously it is a port if you're new to it. It's like a 12-year-old game, 13, 14-year-old game. I know Zelda was 13 and I'm pretty sure this was before. So it must be about 14-year-old game. Uh, at least I bought and played them in the other order. The, who knows, maybe I just got Lila at the wrong time. Anyway, enough wobbling. You've got the main game, battle game, score attack, training and options. Training it's enforced when you put the game on and it's the stupidest thing on the planet it never needed it on the game before you always had to choose it as an option it was never enforced and it tells you the controls twice there's no need for it whatsoever it really is annoying it tells you because you then go into free flight mode rather than on reels mode but the lasers are still bloody lasers uh, bombs are still bombs barrel rolling still barrel rolling etc so Enough wobbling on about the enforced training. You can go into the control settings and you can choose between two control types. You can't fully customise, which is annoying because I do not like either type. I don't see why I have to have B as laser and E as bomb and then... Sorry, Y as bomb. And then have E as break and X as boost. Surely you're going to want boost to be near your, your laser button because you want to be able to boost out of trouble so it gets to the point where you end up holding your DS like that on sections and it's incredibly annoying and with A X is still boost only now B's break A's laser and Y's bomb so you could argue you could have your laser there and then boost but that's just a really awkward way to hold the controls especially because then to get a bomb you've got to retry it over so it's annoying that they're not fully customizable. You can choose your invert though. You can also put gyro controls on if you want. So play the game moving around, you know, if you're really into that sort of thing. I think everyone knows that I'm not into that sort of thing at the end of the day. I uh, kind of built my channel around Wii games and hating them, except the VC ones. And why did I hate them? Motion controls. So we've got sound test and erase save data. Obviously, I don't want to be erasing my save data. Score attack is being able to go on to any of the missions and replay them to get the good score, to get the medals. The 16 overall, and you get to choose between the 3DS version or the N64 version. Nothing much changes. Sorry, the teeth in. Nothing much changes about these. It's not as if you get different graphics or anything anything it's just that using the new control sets are easier on the 3ds version because the game's been tweaked so that you don't really get penalized because this is the thing i noticed straight away the n64 version so much harder than it used to be and i have the game on the vc and the n64 and play it regularly and because the circle pad isn't up to scratch it isn't as good as the analog i found myself having a great deal more difficulty on the game purely because of that so it's the type of thing that you might want to start with 3DS if you've never played the game before. If not, just persist, because personally, I'd rather have a harder game than an easier game. Battle mode, you can play the game download player with uh, four players on one cart, or you can just go into it single player, which as I've got no one with me, I'm going to choose single player, especially because I've been wobbling on like mad in the menus for about five minutes now. So I choose my controls. N no, I do not want to read an explanation, yet I've just accidentally clicked it. So I'll skip into the actual gameplay. Well, the menu, uh, mention the new features and that to be fair, which there's no point because I'm here. Oh, uh, so... The multiplayer on Lila Wars was always okay. Basically, you got a choice between flying as an R Wing, walking around as Peppy, or going in a Landmaster tank. And I believe you had four different stages, and it was a bit lackluster and felt like an afterthought. So here's me, like an idiot, thinking, well, Nintendo's going to do some justice to it finally. But it's not. They've actually, if anything, made it worse. You get a choice between survival, point battle, or time battle. There's no straight up deathmatch where if you kill someone, you get the point. Because when you kill someone on this someone else can steal your point it's incredibly annoying it's the type of thing that really does great on me because it takes all skill out of the game and it means that all you have to do is be sly and sneak up and steal the point so survival mode's probably the best one to go for if you actually want real competition and want to prove that you're the best out your mates you then get a choice between time limits you get a choice between classic items or power-ups which uh 
I will put the power-ups on, and it's kind of like a Mario Kart thing. That's what it changes. It gives you a question mark and gives you different things. You can choose difficulty of the computer. You can choose between four stages. So, again, only four stages. On a 3DS cart, which can hold so much data, it's a sin to have four stages. It's a sin of taking away the Landmaster tanks and Peppy. Why we still don't have any, and I can never remember the name of it, but the submarine. Why we still don't have an underwater level so we can play as a submarine. All these things really do annoy me about the game because it just really feels like they've not been bothered and like they've rushed it out to try and get some quick sales which does annoy me because at the end of the day we are still paying our money and we're paying a lot of money for an old game to not even get that many new features we're getting better graphics and that's about it so I can finally at least now show you the top screen because the bottom screen is where all the menu stuff happens and gameplay wise the battles happen in free roam mode so you just get to fly around doing whatever the hell you want and that's about it then because obviously you wouldn't really want to play an on rails version of this it wouldn't make any sense at all so let's see if i can hopefully not get shot down and get to that so the control has done button swap and uh, sorry not the control the question mark has done button swap and that's uh the caliber of powers really obviously i don't get to see that one but you saw peppy use it there so let's see if i can get another one to show it off Right, so that was a dead weight, which to be fair, I didn't know how to use it, but it said it attached itself, and you might have noticed I was kind of crap at that and kind of wasn't doing anything, and well, that's probably because I really hate the multiplayer and never play it. That's only the third time I've ever played the multiplayer, because I knew pretty much after two matches that I was not going to like it. They'd done that much of a shoddy job on it, but it's there. Play it if you want to. If you enjoy it, great. I just personally don't. As far as I'm concerned, the main bulk of the game is in the single player, which at least you get the two modes to beat and then the score of attack, so you've got plenty of legs to do. People complain that this game's 20 minutes short because, yeah, you can beat it in 20 minutes, but you haven't really beat it. You'll have only done five planets or so. You won't have discovered all 16, which you do have to... Like, do different things to get different routes. There's, like, secrets here, there, and everywhere. For example, on the first level... You've got to meet specific parameters to be able to do the different route. So, if you're one of those people who reckons that the game's 20 minutes and it's crap because of that, then no offence, you're an absolute idiot. And give it another go and try and play it properly this time. So, single player gameplay, and I know I keep saying so, it's annoying me as much as it's probably annoying you and annoying my brother who's editing the videos and has to keep pulling the cuts back so he gets to hear me say, So, about 50 times a video. Which is why there's usually a lot of, why don't you just edit your own vids, I can't, I broke the laptop last time I done it, etc. arguments. But anyway, the single player portion of the game, the whole point is, you fly around, you've got your energy limit in the top left, you can collect golden rings to increase your energy limit, you can collect silver rings to heal you, and to be fair, the golden rings I think heal you a little bit as well. I've mentioned the bombs, but I haven't shown them. The bombs are quite unique on a Star Fox game because you get to fire them and then detonate them whenever you want, or they can just detonate when they hit something or detonate after a set time. And you can collect more bombs. You can also collect yourself some twin lasers to make yourself more powerful. Uh, with Star Wing, part of the reason why I like that more, it then gives you a plasma bolt, and you don't get it on Lilac. You just get blue lasers, and it's a little annoying. You can do with new controls and that, somersaults and things like that. And using the D-pad now, you can just do it as one button push, which is much easier rather than clumbing around. And quite frankly, I wish there was a way to disable it so you could only use the D-pad because using the circle pad, I'm noticing the amount of times I accidentally, just from trying to boost and then move down, because the circle pad isn't exactly as good as an analog, the amount of times I'll do the somersault or a U-turn and then get myself killed, it's just incredibly annoying. You also every now and then get these little messages at the bottom, either someone asking you for help or someone trying to give you help by giving you a crate which might contain lasers or a bomb. If you blow up a wing you can collect it back again and obviously you lose your twin lasers for some reason because your wings relate to your guns on this even though the guns fire out the front of your R wing. Uh, but it's never really made sense in Star Fox but that's the way it goes so I'm not going to argue with it. And you've got lives in your top corner as well as the boost bar which you can't just constantly boost or break or somersault or anything anything you've got to wait a little bit and that's pretty much all i can say about the game it's just your standard on real shooter really it's incredibly good i personally love it i think the new graphics are excellent the sound's still just as good 
Uh, the only problem is the voice acting, they've made it even worse, I'm pretty sure they've re-recorded it, and it used to be bad, now it's really bad, and it's even more annoying to hear do a barrel roll, and this is why I'm going to mention this, I will allow one, if you are the first person to get in, and post, do a barrel roll, bully for you, you can have all the thumbs up you want, but anyone else, they get removed from the vid, because they just annoy the hell out of me, you have been warned, so... That's about all I can say about the game. If you've never played one before, give it a go, especially if you can pick it up a little bit cheaper, because if you're not going to play the multiplayer, it might be worth waiting until you can get it maybe half price. If you think you are going to play the multiplayer, then just get it full price now, because I really do like it. I think it's a really good game, and I can't wait until they finally bring Starwing back, because I imagine that's going to be the next one, because they can't port it to the VC, so I'd like to see them just totally redo it. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212. Signing off.